welcome to Beer of the Week. I apologize, it's been a couple of weeks since we've done a Beer of the Week video, or actually a blog post, if you will, um, mainly because we've been just very busy around the house. Um, our carpet has been completely removed. We're in the process of getting a hardwood floors refurbished. Uh, we're underneath this 45-year-old stinky carpet. And I just have had a lot of other stuff with work and with kids in school. And the beer of the week has, unfortunately, kind of fallen by the wayside. So I thought, you know, as just something a little different and, you know, as a thank you for waiting for the, uh, for the beer of the week, um, I'm going to try to do this through video, this, this next one. This is a beer that I have not had before. It is a Hazel Brown by Sam Adams. Um, this came in their Oktoberfest or their, their Autumn Sampler Pack, um, which also came with their Oktoberfest, their Pumpkin Harvest Ale, um, their Ruby Red Ale, and of course their usual Boston Lager. This is, according to the notes that, um, were on, that were on the bottle, this flavorful dark brown ale has a distinct hazelnut aroma and taste. Slightly sweet caramel and toffee malt notes accentuate the pleasant roasted hazelnut character. This medium-bodied brew finishes smooth with an underlying spiciness from the hops. This is, I've not had this beer before, uh, so this is going to be kind of my, first, my very first taste of it. Unfortunately, I did not get the pour on on the video here um it did pour very nicely um the a lot of bubbles that that came up almost like like when you would pour a guinness um and just a very nice looking pour good size foamy head um but not not overly foamy and let's give this a let's give this a go I do taste some of the coffee notes, uh, toffee notes, but I, it, that were um, explained in the uh, in the tasting notes that were on the bottle. But I taste more coffee at first. It's very, it's a very dark coffee. It's like a stout, if you will. Um, it is. It does have a bit of the sweet, you know, that they that they hinted on or that they stated um, with the caramel and toffee flavors. But I'm not tasting that as much as I'm just tasting a real strong coffee taste. Um, it, it's not a bad beer. Um, it, it is something that would I have again? Yeah, I would have it again. Um, because I do like darker beers. I like, uh, beers with a very bold and strong, strong coffee taste to it. It's not a beer that my wife would like. Um, she is very much a lighter beer person. Um, fruit beers are certainly among her, her favorites as well, but th this is certainly not a beer for Chris. This is, however, it's it's a pretty decent beer. It's not something that I would have all the time, uh, but it is something that um, if you're looking for something, kind of a, me a medium dark, medium dark uh, beer um, with a very bold coffee-esque taste, um, this is certainly something that I would go with. Um, as far as what I would pair this with, I would probably pair this with a chocolate, you know, with with a good dark chocolate. Um, yeah, almost not, this isn't a dessert beer for, per se, but I think it would go well with, um, with, uh, uh, like a chocolate, um, chocolate mousse or, you know, something very, very dark, very sweet. Um, this, that is what I would probably do with this, um. All in all, you know, for Sam Adams, not bad. Not horrible. Not bad. Um, is it a great beer? No. I would probably, uh, I, when I go on to Untapped and uh, mark it as a beer that I've drank, it, I'll probably give it about a three and a half, um, maybe a four. Um, I've had better beers from Sam Adams, but I've also had worse beers from Sam. So, until next week, um, pros it.